hey, how do you adjust the cam chain tension on a Honda CX500? I'll show you how in this video. Welcome to Urban Monk TV. Okay, if you're new to my channel, I have a series on the CX-500 where I'm removing the engine from the bike, replacing the stator, uh, replacing the mechanical seal in the water pump, and uh, putting it all back together. I'm also going to replace the um, regulator rectifier in a future video. But this video is not intended to be part of that series. This video is uh, for someone that owns a Honda CX-500, doesn't intend on taking things apart, and just wants to adjust the cam chain tension. While I do have the engine out of the bike right now, this is simple enough to do with the engine still in the bike, but this gives me an opportunity to show you exactly what's happening inside the engine when you do this adjustment. Uh, where I couldn't do that if it was in the bike. So, here we go. So at the front of the engine, take off this cap, 17 millimeter. And remove this cap on the back right hand side of the engine. Looks exactly the same. And using the same 17 millimeter, put your wrench on the crankshaft and only turn this clockwise. And turn it until removing this cap, again 17 millimeter, I had already loosened that up, until these marks down in here, see what I can do. You want to line up the line with the TL with the alignment mark here. Right now, I'm, I'm a little between the FL and the TL marks. I want to be dead on the TL. I'm going to need both my hands, well there I can do it, and almost there. This would be much easier if I wasn't holding the flashlight. Okay, now I'm lined up with the TL, let me show you that. There's the TL mark lined up with my indicating arrow. If you like motorcycles, custom builds, or just like a good story about a man's three-year effort to build a tribute to his childhood teacher, get a copy of Creating Mr. Corton. In it, you'll learn how this man changed this man for the better. How this man took this and built this. How these guys became lifelong friends and enthusiasts of motorcycling and craftsmanship and how the name Urban Monk originated. It's available from Amazon anywhere in the world that Amazon ships in both paperback and ebook, or you can purchase through a link found on urbanmonktv.com. Get your copy of Creating Mr. Corton today. Then on the left cylinder looking down the service manual, trying to get this lit for you. There we go. The service manual says to take the cylinder head cover off. I think it's sufficient to just take the spark plug out and see that the left cylinder where the piston is up at top dead center. Um, obviously, you know, you can see the piston right there in the spark plug hole. If it were on its downward cycle, uh, or the you know exhaust stroke 
then it uh, you wouldn't see it as clearly there at the top of the cylinder. So with the carbs in place you can still and with the engine in the bike you can sneak a 10 millimeter wrench in here and loosen this up. Now just give it a few turns because eventually if you go too far you'll start to feel resistance because this bolt serves two purposes. One, it loosens up the cam chain tensioner so the spring can slide the, the tensioner against the chain again, but it also helps you pry back the rear cover from the engine uh, because the thing is really stuck on there. And so you don't want to go too far if your intention is just to adjust cam chain tension. So just loosen it and then retighten it. That's really all it takes. Now I will go inside the engine and show you exactly what's happening when we do this. Okay, so here we are with the back cover off the engine and we can look inside to that cam chain and the tensioner mechanism. And let's zoom in on that bolt. Here's that bolt. has a little O-ring around it because of course there's oil on this side and this comes through the case and sits on the outside of the engine casing as you saw previously in the video. And so when the case is on here the action of loosening this just loosens, I'll take it way out so you can see behind it, loosens the tension on this tensioner right here. And there's a spring that once this is loose, that spring pulls this down and tightens up the cam chain. And so when you have the case on here, You know, snug like that is your normal operating mode. You come sneak underneath your carburetor, loosen that up, just a couple of turns, the spring pulls the tension down and you retighten. It's just that simple. And you know, there isn't like a torque specification for this, it's just snug. But what you can't see with the engine case in place is how worn is this guide and how far along this uh, path of travel on that bolt are you. Uh, now I can see because I've got the rear cover off that I'm about halfway. So I didn't go replacing any of the tensioner components with new uh, because this wears over time and slowly this moves further and further down in order to keep the tension tight. But um, I've got some, some time to go. What you won't know from outside your engine, again with the cover on, is uh, how far along you are there. Uh, you're going to have to probably listen to hear if this is loose and slack. Um, but Assuming the engine has, you know, less than, well, this one has 42,000 miles on it, so, and it's halfway through its, its wear. Um, assuming you've got something less than that, you're probably okay with just loosening it. You know, it's hard to say one rule for all situations, but take that for what it is. This is how it works inside. So that's it you guys, that is simply uh, adjusting your cam chain tension on your Honda CX500. Uh, hey, if you like motorcycles and custom builds, check out my book, Creating Mr. Corton. It is available on urbanmonktv.com or on Amazon. And uh, it's a memoir of the build of my GS550 Cafe Racer. Um, and if you like what you see here, subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.